What I'd like to demonstrate today is the operation of the E85 fuel composition tester on this Buick LaCrosse. I have a 12 volt power supply for the sensors electronics to use. I have a ground and I also have a signal wire. The job of the signal wire is to turn that switch on and off at varying frequencies to inform the PCM as the amount of alcohol that's in the fuel. The tester that GM sent out to the dealerships to pour gasoline sample into the tester and use the flute meter says to subtract 50 from our reading. Well, I've got the flute meter back probed into the sensor, and if I min-max my meter, once it stop be stops beating, I should be able to get a reading of how much alcohol is in the tank. I've got, oh, 59, slightly over 59 hertz. Subtracting 50 from that reading, I would have 9% alcohol in the fuel, so it's E9. And uh, earlier today, I did check GDS and the digital readout on the scanner said 9% fuel, uh, alcohol in the fuel rather. Now, if I scope the sensor itself, you can see a frequency occurring. And what I, it's a five volt signal that's pulled low by uh, the sensor itself. Um, what I did find interesting is that SI had stated that depending on the on time, the PCM can use that to determine the temperature of the fuel. So if I go to my one millisecond per division scale and freeze it, the amount of on time based on one millisecond per division is one, two, about 2.5 milliseconds. Now according to my SI document, it states that one millisecond would indicate 40 below zero, five milliseconds would indicate 304.25% uh, degrees Fahrenheit. There is no scale to tell me specifically 2.5 milliseconds what temperature that is. But it, what surprises me is you would figure the ECM would just uh, use the ambient temperature sensor, figuring that fuel temperature is probably close to ambient, if not a little higher uh, with the engine running. But that's the long and the short of the E85 fuel composition tester, courtesy of Bill O'Connell, Triton College, General Motors ASEP program. For all your automotive training needs, check out www.triton.edu.